the Lord seems to keep giving us little stepping stones for moving to Hawaii. Adam and I were just talking about this in the car and like, I literally just want to cry right now out of, um, hope and thankfulness and just another love note from the Lord. So one of the things with one of the hindrances or factors that we've had to consider with moving is leaving our family doctor because she is just the biggest blessing. If you follow along with my health journey, you know that I am 13 and a half years into um, wrestling and overcoming hormonal imbalance due to birth control at the beginning of our marriage. And I have been through so many doctors and tried everything under the sun and the moon and the stars. With my health, we have spent so much money on doctors and trying things where um, they don't resonate with my spirit. There's just, we don't click, we don't work. And so I finally found this doctor a couple years ago. That's amazing. Has been such a blessing to my health journey, to our family. And the thought of leaving her and having to find someone else like her um, it feels really overwhelming. So today I had an appointment with her. I am currently on um, a low dose of depression meds while working through some stuff from our past. And so today was a update meeting. And so Adam and I went together because he's amazing. And we had a conversation with her about possibly weaning me off depression meds. Um, and then, Hey, if we move, do, are we going to lose you? Can we, what does this look like? And one, she gave us so much hope with a, um, so with homeopathic homeopathy, a whole nother direction with wellness that I've not fully looked into or learned about. So one that gets me excited because I can learn more about wellness and I love it. Um, and that there is a, another aspect that I can bring into my wellness journey. And then she's willing to do like FaceTime calls for appointments for small things that we need. And so we are not going to be fully losing her. And that's huge guys. And so it may, it may seem small to some, but to us, because of our, um, we're all about preventative and wellness opposed to like just sick care that, um, our doctor is like a huge thing in our family and she is a beautiful guiding light to us. And so I just have to like give testimony and thank the Lord so much that, um, she was like, yeah, that's not a problem. We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Um, she's going to keep walking with us, especially like on this journey of the homie, homie, homeopathy. I think. Um, and so yeah, praise the Lord. He keeps making a way when it feels like there's no way like, um, in those small things. And so he's so good at giving us those love notes and he is the provider. And we were just talking again of, um, really having to reshape our mindset with this because we have been really scared recently. Like, what are we doing? We're going to sell our house. We have nothing lined up. Like we're okay with being foolish for the Lord, but like, are we just being stupid? I don't understand. And reshaping and reframing our mindset of this is an adventure. It's okay to fail. Um, my sister was encouraging me so much last night, um, with all of this. And she was talking about, I believe it was the founder of Spanx that she, her dad at dinner growing up used to ask every night, how did you fail today? And reframing that mindset so that it is like, good, you failed. So what are you learning from it? And that is a huge part in this with us for our kids of we're wanting them to see it's okay to take risks and try things and it's okay if we fail. And so, but it's that actually putting our words into practice. Cause this is like, if we fail in the sense and move over there and the Lord doesn't open anything up and we run out of money, um, and we have to move back home, but we don't have a home. 
it's going to make a big splash. Like we're going to fail hard. However, what then could we learn from it? I still don't believe the Lord's going to do that. However, it's a possibility. Um, and our God is big and he is mighty and he is not going to be surprised by the outcome, nor is he surprised where we're at right now. And so we are just taking one step at a time. So right now getting our house ready and putting it on the market in a couple weeks. Whew. Um, like once we get the house sold, I feel like we're going to be like right now we're on that roller coaster and it's clicking up. Like once we sell the house, like we're just, we're just on it. Like let's just enjoy the ride. It's an adventure. We're going to make some really amazing family memories, whether, um, we fail or not, um, with the move. But, um, I just had some encouragement put into my heart and my spirit today after this appointment, because this week has been a real big struggle of what the bleep do we think we're doing? Who do we think we are? Not having a ton of like, like a ton of money, a ton of, um, man-made provision. I was talking to my sister about like, sometimes we just want cushion. Like we just want the cushion of money and savings and, um, it just makes things so much easier. My hand is dying. It makes things so much easier and simpler. And yet guys looking back over our, our whole marriage, like, um, with, when we don't have the cushion of the world of provision created by ourselves, um, we get to see God move in mighty, mighty ways. Um, and so again, reframing that mindset of, um, this whole situation. So anyways, just wanted to pop in. I really want to start documenting the small little love notes of the Lord of like him placing, like, here's another stone. Here's another stepping stone. Here's another stepping stone. He's not going to give us like, I don't believe a paved path. We're like, Oh, we see the beginning. We see the end. No, it's literally going to be a mosaic of tiny stones that are, is going to get us over to Hawaii. And I cannot wait. What also was really great was, um, my doctor just again, confirming like you guys moving over there for even your health alley right now is going to be amazing. Um, the vitamin D, the being able to ground the, um, just that culture she was really encouraged about. And then that's another thing that I'm so curious about with my health that I'd like to document too. Like what happens when you are spending a life outside, um, living life rather than being insulated in your house and, um, lack of sun like today. So I'm encouraged. And I'm excited to be encouraged because I haven't been encouraged about this move in a while. And the Lord knew it. He is so good. He is so faithful. He is our provider. He is faithful. Though his timing is not ours. And his plan, like he sees so much more than we do. And so are we allowing our hands to be open and um, to receive what he is giving us? Or... Um, are we keeping it clenched? Um, so, okay. Hubby's back. I'm done. <laughs>